Hey Internet, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2017 video. This is for level 2 in the binary exploitation category. The last challenge here is called VR Gear Console for 95 points, a virtual reality gear console. It says here's the VR Gear Admin Console, see if you can figure out a way to get in or log in. The problem is found here and it gives us a file system path. So it gives us a lot of hints that uh, seem to be pointing towards kind of a buffer overflow like attack or bug exploit vulnerability stuff. So what happens if you read in more characters than the length of the username buffer? I guess we'll find the context of that very soon. Look at an ASCII table to see what characters you need to choose. Numbers are stored in little endian, lowest byte of numbers first, and then we can keep open the pipe for command. So I'm assuming we're going to end up getting some kind of shell. Whatever, let's go ahead and connect to the actual shell server that they're running this on so we can get to that location. So I'm just going to change directory into that problem location. Um, and we have, as you can see, the permissions here for flag.txt we won't be able to read because we are not in the VR Gear Console 1 uh, group. So we just have to use the binder and take advantage of it uh, exploit it to go ahead and read that flag. I'm going to go ahead and cat the source code because they are nice enough to give it to us. Uh, it's just the VR gear console dot C. And what I'm going to do is actually just copy and paste this and put it in sublime text so we can get a little bit of syntax highlighting and just make it a little bit easier to read. So I'll paste all this stuff in. And let's go through this code here. Just include some regular C libraries, this function called login that sets some variables off to begin with, access level, username, password. Looks like these are buffers that we'll be able to read into. Printf username, max 15 characters. Oh, and then it reads in our input with the gets function. So this is an immediate red flag. Um, looks like it'll compare if the username is admin and the password is, oh, create long password. Huh, okay whatever that testing may be doing to change the the access level. But doesn't seem to really particularly be using like real perhaps passwords in here. We could we could try to change this. We could try to test if we can log in with these characters, this 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 information or these credentials here, see if it will change the access level. Um because artist and my password is secret will give us hex 80, and it will return the access level. That's what this login function will eventually give us. It'll give the access level as the return variable. Looks like it just displays kind of a banner, tries to have us log in with that login function, test for the access number, and it will tell us what the access level is. Okay, in hex here, good. And then determine if we have access greater or equal to, by default, the two hex characters, or zero XFF, or less than or equal to zero. So root and create long password will be unsuccessful. But if access is greater, or less than, less than hex 30, so I guess we want admin, but, so we can try and log in with admin, and that will give us a shell. But otherwise we will log in successful without permission to access the resource. So interesting, let's try and see if we can run it with admin and this string create long password, but I am doubtful, right? I'm admittedly just leading us down this rabbit hole to see if we will be able to run it simply as that. Admin, create long password, access level is zero XFF, uh, eventually in login is unsuccessful. So that didn't work. Maybe that that is supposed to be something and it's not, um, perhaps that is not actually in the binary. Oh, maybe these are passwords that we could use. I don't know. Maybe these are long passwords according to each user. Try some of them. No, nope, looks like it still does not change the access level. Okay, so that's enough of kind of just beating around the bush. Um, the vulnerability that we can take advantage of is that gets function. So as you saw in the source code here, gets is a C function. And if you, we just check out the man page for it, man gets, gets will get a string from standard input. However, it is deprecated because the description here tells us to never ever use this function. It can essentially lead to a buffer overflow 
or break computer security. The bugs here, it says, never use gets, because it's impossible to tell what, without knowing the data in advance how many characters gets will return or read in. Gets will continue to store characters past the end of the buffer, or past the uh, null byte that you would have expected, it, depending, like, our username was declared with 16 bytes for the buffer, but we can read in more than that, despite it just trying to give us a little disclaimer, maximum 15 bytes. It's extremely dangerous to use. It's been used to break computer security. Use fgets instead. So since the program is running with this gets function, we can essentially overwrite other information. So since we're running gets with our username and we'll break past this buffer, we'll go essentially upwards on the stack and the other things that are being other variables and stuff that's declared. So we can overwrite this access level by simply entering too much into the username. So I'll show you how to do this. Let's try and use Python, Python tag C, and there's a string, give it a command to run. We'll just print A 15 times, times A times 15. And now we have A 15 times, and we can just pipe that into our VR gear console. It says login unsuccessful, and you can see our access level right over here is 0000, 0, 0, 0 FF. So it hasn't changed the default, but if I, give it 16 characters and we just breach the end of the buffer, now that null byte is going to be pushed over. It's going to start to overflow onto the access level. So let's try that. Let's try 16 characters. And notice, just as I said, it's two zeros at the very end and the null byte has been pushed over. So we can overwrite this with whatever we wanted to. If we wanted to move it to 20, you can see our access level is 41414141. It's been completely overwritten with A's. Now, Let's try and determine how we can get into that, that login, or how we can get that shell. It's testing if our access is less than 0x30, so hex 30. Well, Python, we can just determine hex bytes with that backslash x kind of syntax and formula here, right? So if I were to use 30 times 20, well, we, we have to be less than 30, so it can't be 30, 30, 30. Let's bring that back to 16, get our null byte, 17 is where we're going to have find that sweet spot of actually overloading here. Now see it says login successful, but we don't have permission to access the source because I gave it exactly 30 and it wants less than 30. So let's change that to 29. And it says admin access granted. The flag is in flag.txt. However, the program just immediately closes and we don't stay inside of our shell. So we got to keep in mind it's opening the stream and immediately closing it because there's nothing else for it to read. So what we can do is kind of bundle our payload with some parentheses here with the cat command. So that way we keep standard input open and we can continue to read and write to the shell. Um, we're going to use a semicolon after our payload and then just cat. So it'll hold the shell. It'll keep it open. It'll keep running that system bin bash or bin sh. Let's run this. And it looks like it's trying to prompt for this stuff, but we have to be keeping in mind that um, oh, it may actually be after I hit enter for the password, because it's going to want to hear what the password may be as well, I didn't actually include a new line and include whatever password information. So I just hit enter, and now I can start to enter some commands in here. It gives us the flag is in flag.txt, and I can run commands like ls or who am I, etc. Let's check out flag.txt, and we've got the flag, the flag just like that. Was that one of the strings that we saw in the binary? I feel like it is. the heck? What the heck? Yeah, I see it right in there. That's peculiar. Huh. Wonder if that's intended or not. Whatever. Well, we still got the flag. Let's still kind of take note of this. Go ahead and submit it. 95 points moving up on the scoreboard. Just about done with level two. And that's that. That's that challenge. That's kind of the buffer overflow. Not so much trying to jump or control EIP or the instruction pointer to go to a new function, but just at least overflow into a variable and change the value of it. Interesting stuff. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live because I like to record in bulk or try and get a lot of videos done all at once and then let YouTube gradually upload them with kind of like a, a scheduled releases like maybe every couple hours or daily just so there's not a, a flood of notifications for people that are subscribed. Um, but hey, 20 new videos are out from John Hammond, whatever. Hopefully it'll be a little more slower. 
But $5 a month if you want stuff right away, and just really, really helps me. I w appreciate that as someone trying to sustain my life, <laughs> put food on the table and stuff. Uh, thank you. Just a stupid kid on the internet. So, Hey, if you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you're willing to join our Discord server, link in the description. It is a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You want to hang out with me or other cool people? We're going to be playing Pico CTF 2018 when it opens this weekend. We're going to be playing other CTFs as they come along and just build out a, a community and a following. So please do come hang out. Thanks. Hope to see you guys on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Love ya. Bye.